Fun. Hey, this is Jennifer. We just wanted to take a few minutes and talk about um, some, te some technology that we have here. We've got uh, Dave Goodwin and Corey Roth. Dave is the president of Downtown Mansfield Inc. And he's going to tell us about uh, Mansfield and some things we've done with the mobile app for them. Um, he's worked with Corey and I to build one out. So why don't you give us a little info about Mansfield and where's Mansfield and, and what were you guys looking for when you guys were looking for the app? Sure. Thanks for having me on. Definitely. Uh, Downtown Mansfield is a suburban town of about 75,000 people. It's located in the Metroplex, just south of Arlington, uh, where the Cowboys play. The Cowboys and the Texas Rangers. Go sports ball! Uh, <laughs> uh, it's a, it's a, a growing town. And in the center of it, it has a historic downtown. And fun fact, we're sitting in the second brewery in historic Mansfield right now. <laughs> I'm the president of Downtown Mansfield Inc. and our job is to uh, oversee the respectful renovation of Downtown Mansfield. That means the uh, preservation of a lot of history, the buildings that are down here, but also, you know, it needs to rejuvenate into something that's uh, a fun place to be, and breweries and things like that. And lots of family stuff. There's so many families in this area. Great place to raise kids, lots of good place. schools. Uh, school district uh, every year uh, it gets national and state awards for the Yeah. And the Pickle Parade. What is it? We're the National Pickle Parade. Pickle That's right. Parade. Uh, pickle pickle uh, headquarters. Uh, there's a, a local pickling company. It's been here for and uh, some ladies decided it'd be fun to have a pickle parade and they dress up and uh, kind of fun uh, to be Prince Green Princess. It is. Red hair, green dresses, right. and they do good for the community. It's fantastic. Floats, kids, and it, it brings in about 60,000 people on the pickle parade day now. It's a lot considering the size of the town. It is a lot. So when he came to us for the app, Corey and I are kind of, uh, Mansfield's our hometown, so we're kind of known as the, the tech people. Uh, we build apps, we do different things in technology, and so Dave came to us and said, hey, who do you guys know that can build an app and what can we do? And so Corey, when he came to you and said, uh, with these ideas with the app, tell us about the technology that you looked at and what went into building this app and what makes it up. So uh, our app has built a number of uh, cutting edge technologies that are really uh, born and bred from our enterprise grade knowledge uh, and my regular day to day job that I brought into this mobile app offering. Uh, it started with a product we call Brews App that uh, we use at breweries and uh, various restaurants around town, including uh, Becky Barbecue, also here in downtown Mansfield. Uh, it started there and we evolved the technology uh, so what we could use for downtown uh, events and calendars. And, people to learn more about businesses. And so uh, the technology it uses, uh, on the mobile side, it uses an open source framework called Ionic Framework. Uh, why we chose this was because it has a hybrid mobile platform that works on the web, Android, iOS, and a bunch of other platforms using a single code base. And that's important when you have a small budget and you're not, you know, Facebook, you have their big old you know, resource organization, right? So uh, on the back end, of course, we use Microsoft technologies, including uh, Azure, uh, as app services, uh, we also use Google uh, Firebase for our notification data. So it's using a lot of cutting edge technology. Uh, we use Power BI for our data and reporting and finding out where people are using the app. For example, we can see what part of the Metroplex you're in uh, when you're using the app. That gives us great data that we can take back to the business and say, hey, these people are coming to downtown Memphis because of this app. Dave, what impact has it had uh, just with people coming to the city and, and, and visiting downtown? What positive feedback have you gotten or what changes have you seen uh, coming to the app? It's basically done exactly what we uh, hoped that it would do and it exceeded those expectations. Not only is it uh, like what he said, as far as uh, user interface, it's very friendly. People have lots of uh, good comments about how easy it is to find, uh, the data they need, the events. Uh, plus, we also have almost all the historic buildings located in there, all the parks and trails. And the scavenger huts, right? We can and do the scavenger huts. The scavenger huts are beautiful. Uh, there's so many uh, historic buildings in downtown, and each one of them has a geotag, and the person can do a scavenger hunt. Uh, they can invent their own scavenger hunt. They probably do all these scavenger hunts. Uh, it's really, it's, it's very exciting. It's, it's uh, I think, put a, uh, a good shot of energy into the rejuvenation. Yeah. Now, Corey, ignite your fire. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Keynote's coming up, so we know it's the, the big announcement time for everything Microsoft. So what do you think, or what do you hope that Microsoft might be announcing that is going to impact uh, Dave's app? And what can we go on the answer? Do you think anything big is really coming out? I don't know if anything good can be coming. Obviously, if they'll continue to iterate on the uh, platform that we run off of the Azure App Service. Um, but I think with any technology, uh, any industry you're dealing with right now, the biggest push now is artificial intelligence and machine learning. Uh, things we're interested in are bringing into the app. You know, there's some opportunities to use things like cognitive services to help moderate our content to make sure we're not accidentally publishing something that's objectionable to somebody, right? So we're thinking about using technologies like that. Um, that's great because it works with uh, images, it works with text, uh, and it really does help you know, kind of take out that manual approval step of like approving content and gives you a little, you know, a little extra layer of comfort knowing that, you know, hey, something might stop, you know, because we let businesses uh, upload their own content, right? That's one of the key advantages of the app. So we want to make sure they don't accidentally publish something that somebody may not, uh, or somebody may take issue. And with the Power Platform and what we're doing with Power BI, there might be some really great things coming. Um, with that, with reporting and different things there, so that's right. what's going on there. So that's another interesting. The Power Platform has been an absolute uh, great piece of it, easy to configure, so that works well with our telemetry system, and it gives us great reports on who's using the app, how many people, and you know, we've got thousands of people on this platform now, and that's pretty good for the city. Well, David Corey, thank you guys so much for joining us. Little overview of the app. It's been great chatting with you guys, and we'll see you again on our next interview. Thanks, guys.